So what is a bridge page and how can you use it to increase conversions, lower the chance of your ads getting disapproved on sites like Facebook, and really just use it to become a better affiliate marketer? Let's dive in. Hey, I'm Thomas McMahon with ClickBank. And like we covered, we're gonna dive into what bridge pages are, how you can leverage them, what's the difference between a bridge page and a landing page, all this kind of good stuff. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let me know if at any point through this video, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're liking what we're doing. And let's just cover it. So a bridge page and a landing page. First off, what's the difference and what is this terminology we've been talking about? A landing page to me, and what we're talking about in this vernacular of direct response marketing, is a page with a dedicated purpose. It's not like a home page or an e-com page where you kind of go navigate anywhere on a website. A landing page is specifically, in my world and ClickBank's world, a sales page. There's not much navigation off it other than to buy a product, right? It's the main page a vendor is giving you for an affiliate to promote and send traffic to. So that is what a landing page is. What is a bridge page? A bridge page is technically a landing page at the end of the day, but what a bridge page is doing is it's acting as a intermediate or interstitial page between the traffic source, whether it's email, a Facebook ad, an Instagram post, whatever it might be, right? That it's that and the landing page. So if someone clicks on an ad, lands on a bridge page, and then clicks through the bridge page to the landing page, that's kind of the sequence of this funnel we're talking about of this top of funnel content. So why use something like a bridge page instead of just promoting straight to the offer's landing page? Well, there's a few reasons for it. If you think about how people use social media, which is where a lot of traffic comes from, either organically or through paid ads on social media, people aren't scrolling through their phone on Facebook or Instagram um, just to go buy a product. They're scrolling through there to see people's posts about the gym, about their vacations and kind of all that kind of stuff and kind of catch up with their friends and just kind of consume content they like. Your goal with an ad is to disrupt them and to kind of pattern and interrupt them and to click on it. The issue is that their person is not in a buying behavior at that point. They're still in the social media content consumption behavior. And if you send them directly to a landing page, which is gonna just try to sell them something, um, there's a good chance they'll just bounce off it and go back to their thumbing through their Instagram or Facebook feed. So what a bridge page can do is act as a way to kind of warm up their interest in the thing you're trying to sell them eventually. And as an affiliate, you can use these to really kind of warm up that traffic. You can even use it as a lead capture form, um, but you can use it to warm up that traffic and get them ready to buy and get, more, get them more receptive to the offer you're sending them to. So things you can do with that, or how this can kind of look and work would be something like this smoothie diet, which is an offer on ClickBank, really clean, really good offer. They actually offer, if you scroll down their affiliate tools section here, they actually offer these pre-sell articles, which are bridge pages that you can send traffic to. They're actually hosting this, but you as an affiliate could be hosting your own bridge pages. And the idea here is that they have these articles that you can generate and just kind of put in your affiliate ID, your ClickBank ID and send traffic to. I've loaded up this first one here. Let me scroll to the top here. Um, and it looks like a news post or a blog post, right? It doesn't look like a sales page to go buy something. It looks like you're gonna learn about the top five reasons more women are using green smoothies to lose weight. So if you had an ad out there that looked more like of a news article that was shared and they landed on this page, they're not gonna be surprised. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, I do wanna learn that, right? And this looks about a blog post by the author here. You go through and in this, there's links to um, all the all these links are going to the eventual landing page, which then if I click through one of these links, it brings me to the actual landing page. And now you're here where you can actually buy and you can actually warm people up. And so you can kind of get an idea of how these bridge pages, or they're calling them pre-sale pages, can warm up the traffic hitting them and get them ready to purchase. There's a lot of ways a bridge page might look. This one looks like an article, we might call them a listicle, right? Um, it looks like a blog post, looks like a news source. That's a very common way to do it. It could be a lead gen capture form. It could be a freebie to get. Um, it could be a quiz. A lot of people like to use quiz funnels kind of on this front end where it's like, hey, are you this type of person? Or what's your fat losing type? Or what's your favorite movie character? Right? <laughs> and you kind of go through these different types of quizzes and that kind of gets you out of the scrolling through Facebook mindset or whatever you might be doing. And then it kind of warms you up to whatever that quiz result is. And that's eventually gonna send you to an offers landing page. 
And so those are the big differences here and how affiliates can use these. Oftentimes, like we see, the vendor will give you some you can just send to, but you could be doing your own thing, right? And actually hosting your own bridge pages, building your own if you're not seeing good conversions or click-through rates from your traffic to a vendor's landing page. If you're not seeing good click-through rates from that uh, hop to an order form impression, if that's really low, it's probably because there's bad intent and you have a mismatch of traffic hitting that offer page. And a bridge page might be the solution there to actually warm that traffic up. You might see less clicks, but you might see more engaged clicks and people going to that landing page eventually and eventually buying. So that's the intent here. And we have a great blog post we've done that goes into this in a lot more detail. Here's an example of it. You can click on the link in the description below to go check out that blog post about pre-sale pages, bridge pages, landing pages, and all different examples of those. And there you have it, a deep dive into what bridge pages or pre-sale pages are. Do check out that link in the description below. Let me know what questions you have about them in the comments below and happy scaling. Cheers.